good day, dear listeners and uh, televiewers, and welcome to BEF Academy. BEF Vocational Training Institute offers language and professional courses. You are welcome. In today's video, we would like to share with you an overview of the IELTS exam. For those of you who are interested in traveling abroad, either for studies or for work, uh, ICE, the International English Language Testing System, IELTS, is uh, uh, an examination that will enable you to be chosen in the university, the target university, or to acquire a job in the target country. So what we want to do today is simply to explain the different test modules for those of you who are preparing to write this exam, especially for the first time. The International English Language Testing System, IELTS, has basically four modules. That's listening, speaking, reading, and writing. So what you need to know is how long does each module last and uh, how is it tested? What kind of questions are you expected to see under examination condition? Uh, maybe we'll begin with ice reading. The ice reading paper lasts for 60 minutes and it is divided into three sections. Uh, and each section lasts for about 20 minutes. In which case, we can advise that, well, if you are preparing to do the eyes reading, know that you have a maximum of 20 minutes per section. And if you have a maximum of 20 minutes per each section, then you should try to maximize that time and even use 17 minutes instead of 20, so that at the end of the exam, you have time to read over your work. Now, what kind of questions are, uh, are you expected to see? You have multiple choice questions, as MCQs, the traditional MCQs, uh, you have gap filling, you have uh, table completion, and so on and so forth. But know that you are supposed to write, if you have to, to write a word or to write an expression, it should not be more than three words. Then uh, we can also look at ice writing. Ice writing lasts equally for 60 minutes and is divided into two parts. We call them two tasks, T-A-S-K-S. A tax one and tax two. Tax one lasts for 20 minutes and tax two lasts for 40 minutes. So uh, if you are doing ICE academic, then your questions will be based on either describing an object, describing a graph, or a table. But if you are doing ICE general training, then uh, your tax one will be based on letter writing. It will be formal, informal, as a, or semi-informal as the case may be. But both academic students and general training students do the same test, uh, uh, tax two test, that is uh, argument. They're expected to write some form of argument, meaning that you need to, you know, uh, base yourself with the different techniques of the argumentative essay. Then uh, another section is I speaking. The speaking test lasts for 40 minutes maximum. That's the speaking test. The speaking test is between 14 minutes, between 11 minutes and uh, 40 minutes. And this test is divided into three parts. You have part one, uh, which has to do with uh, familiar topic, meaning that the examiner is going to ask you a question based on a familiar topic. Uh, it could be a, a school a background, a cultural background, where you come from, the area where you live, and so on. Those are topics that uh, have to do with your familiarity. But the part two section of the speaking test is simply an annotated topic. I think it could, even if there is a strange topic, it's not going to be difficult because you have an annotated or guided topic. For example, you may be asked to write about wild animals, uh, and a wild animal that you know, either you like or you don't like, they will ask you to describe it, they will ask you to talk about its, its habitat and so on. Or you may be asked to talk about a traditional wedding that you attended or heard about. 
then they can annotate. They may simply just write party, they write um, uh, dressing, they can also write maybe uh, food. There you will be able to talk about what you hate or what uh, you witness. And then the last section of, part of the speaking test is uh, always an extension of part two because the examiner asks you subjective questions. For example, he may ask you questions that have to do with your opinion on part two. Uh, for example, uh, in, in your country, uh, do, what is the attitude of people towards wild animals? What government policies are there to protect some of these species and so on? And lastly, I think I'm not talking about listening. The last module is uh, listening. The listening module lasts for 30 minutes. And uh, you listen and write as the tape unfolds. But you have an extra additional 10 minutes to transfer your answers from the answer booklet to an answer sheet. So it is important to be very attentive because you will not listen to the tape a second time. OK, that was just a, a brief introduction to IELTS. And if you are interested in more details, you can contact us at BEP Academy, situated at Karipu Superate, JMAC Yaoundé, either for physical class or online class. But you can call us using the following number, 677-534247. That is 677-534247. It's interesting that through that same number, you can get us on WhatsApp. And why not visit our website? at www.bethacademy.com. Thank you and bye-bye.